foot seven in the middle. The number one recruiting class last year now has the number one recruit from 2022 joining them as well. That's number one. Tips it over the number two recruit of last year's class, Kiki Rice. And Milana, that's one of the things I think is so exciting about this UCLA team. All those freshmen last year got a lot of experience. Jump ball. There's not a lot of six, seven, six, seven kids who can play the way Lauren Betts can play, so you want to see what they're going to do defensively. They're going to start shooting from the outside is what they're going to do. So you've got three California, Southern California kids on this Princeton team, so they're playing in front of their family and friends. So there's probably a little bit of nerves coming out. Hawkes. Gabriella Hawkes over the top to Betts. Okay, if the first was a lot of arm, what was that? Well, and they're checking too. I wonder how long they'll allow them to get away with so much contact down low. Ball in the hands of Charisma Osborne. Her final year, mid-range, air ball. We've seen it. A little bit of nerves both, both ways. Carla Barubi, the head coach, fifth year for her at the helm of the Princeton Tigers. She's the two-time Ivy League coach of the year. NCAA tournament the last two seasons. And as you mentioned, a really nice showing against NC State last year with an upset. Well, she has that UConn pedigree. She played there, and when you grow up in that system, I think she brings that toughness and those expectations to the Princeton Tigers. Kiki! Executing their game plan. UCLA ironically wants to keep the ball in the hands of Caitlin Chen. The, the more she dribbles the basketball, the slower their fast break is. When she can get it and kick it out, that's when they're off to the races. Corey Clotes, head coach of the UCLA Bruins in her 13th season, and number three UCLA Bruins. She has been building to this for years and years. She's reluctant to say she has depth, but we see depth. Christine Iwala enters number 22 in white. I think as a coach, you always want to sandbag a little on, because you never know what's going to happen, right? Oh, yeah. So, thank you. Chen for three. Always have to operate in that scarcity mindset, right? Where uh, I want to just make sure everyone's good. But you see a little bit of what makes Caitlin Chen so dangerous. Able to go around behind that high ball screen and knock it down from the top of the key. Feeding inside to Betts. It's Osborne to Betts. Quick fast break the other way. Kiki Rice was with her, but just a step ahead is Madison Same Rose. And you see, that's one another thing that makes Princeton so dangerous. Including that takeaway. They have very active hands. That's one of their principles. Hawke is coming up behind us just a little bit off the mark. They're shooting threes, Princeton is. Hawke is into Betts. And Betts just... What is it that makes her so good through contact, Marana? Well, you see a little bit of it there. The focus and the concentration. There was a lot of contact on that play. She still was able to corral the basketball first. I think if you took a poll, I think 10 out of 10 coaches would agree turnovers are yeah. no bueno. I'm saying five early in this first quarter, no good. Nice pass from London Jones. The finish isn't there, but Betts is. Love the emotion by Lauren Betts. She earns the and one, tips it to herself. Just too much contact on that by the Princeton Tigers, and I love to see just the emotion on her face. Teammate helps her up, gets to the free throw line. With the make. She played a role on Stanford's team last year, but of course you had Cameron Brink there. Brink back again this year. Betts ready to play. Came to UCLA and Corey Close said nobody was double teaming our post last year. Net beautifully done by Sky Belker, a freshman who played at the same high school as Charisma Osborne, Winward. She did, and she plays or played on the same club team as my daughter. So we know Sky very well, Southern California kid. It's cool to see her play at the next level. Duglich nails one. Mm -hmm. 
I think they could put an entire lineup on the floor with international players, but it's fun just to see them all embrace that team mindset, and they bring that high basketball like IQ that the non-USA uh, players kind of bring with them. Last shot of the quarter. It goes to Charisma Osborne. As it should. Charisma Osborne showing why she is one of the top players. No good. Zontag, though. Put back. See what I mean? Immediate impact when she gets in the game. I think it's important to note that not only do they have depth, but they have size mm -hmm. as well in addition to the depth. That's a great point. Hawkes coming through, triple teamed as she tries to get through that. Trying to get out. Princeton still has plenty of time. I call that a compliment. That's a physical compliment, right? Three players all around you. Charisma Osborne trying to come through, able to draw the foul. Pass out, because it's it's tough for her to pass out with that. Great stuff for us to look for as Charisma Osborne rims out on that second one. A nice rebound by Paige Morton on that play. Coach Berube talked about her being really important to this game with her size. So Osborne picks up a foul. Really play defense. She can just stand in the middle of the paint. So Morton, one of two. Kelly Mitchell was really battling for that offensive board. Using She's got the size advantage as far as leverage being a little bit shorter than Betts and using her hips to kind of push her under the basket. You know, your your freshman point or your sophomore point guard, and then you've got your big girl inside who's been scoring all the points. But credit Caitlin Chen. Chen then capitalizing. And she really does a nice job of getting under. If you go underneath the screen, she is going to make you pay and knock it down. Well, as we look at it now, right, Kiki Rice with two. They're going to give her maybe a little more room and not rest. We'll see if Chen will go off a finish by Rice. There's the speed that Princeton wants to run at. Forced Kiki to pick up that foul with a misdirection, cutting back door. She got a turnover, and then she got that that sideline break in Caitlin Chen's hands. Forced her to dribble up the floor because that's slower than her passes. Princeton coming out in the second quarter. Very sharp 8-3 advantage in the second quarter for the Tigers. A, a bazillion points. I know that's a very accurate stat. <laughs> um, but she also picked up her defense playing with the USA team. That's really something she focused on her defense and her vocal leadership. And you can see that now a sophomore, a lot more comfortable out there on the floor. And quite close said her off ball defense has taken an especially big jump. Dougal H, pretty finish. Able to drive to the basket, gets under a little bit, but uses that extended left hand. Nice touch off the glass. Stepping around the screen, 17 to eight, end of first quarter, negated at this point. Well, and we haven't really heard much from Madison St. Rose until the last couple of possessions. She's averaging 17 on the season. They've been a quiet six, Chen with eight. Getting help also from Belker and Morton. Chen, out to baseline, that's so. It shows you how big of a difference Lauren Betts makes for the Bruins. Really running the floor, pushing pace. Well, and they're taking advantage of the fact that Lauren Betts is out of the game. Where UCLA has really had the advantage is they're up 16-2 to two in the paint. Yep. With Lauren Betts out of there, that goes down significantly. Yeah, the same for second chance points, right? Six for UCLA, none for Princeton. So they need to take a chance, advantage of those moments. Uwala tries to punch that ball out. You've got a lot of ball hawks on mm -hmm. that team, meaning they have a nose for the basketball, and they're going to go after it, winning those 50-50 balls. And I think that's what they're currently doing, which keeps them in this game. Yeah, Princeton now in the bonus as well. Are they going to continue to be aggressive getting into the paint, or are they going to go back to shooting a, a little bit more jumpers from the outside? Exactly. Even if you're at UCLA, you don't want her to start feeling comfortable and getting that confidence. She is a great scorer, like we were saying earlier, averaging 17 points per game, and she only has about 
six at this point currently. The refs are probably going to err on the side of the offense, which is what they did. Dugalich will shoot two. Only got three points off of those nine turnovers. I think if you're Corey Close, you would say they got lucky. Uh -huh. They're getting lucky. In the yeah, and UCLA needs to capitalize from the free throw line. This has been a recurring theme at times. They're four for eight right now. It's very early. UCLA switching up into a zone. Long shot for three. Sky Belker again. This is such a great time of year when everything comes together, all the sports colliding. Soccer playoffs, volleyball and NCAA tournament, basketball heating up, football, super intense. Hawkes takes the long way to the right. Seven different Bruins have scored in this game. Long ball again. They're starting to drain. That's a second one from deep for Mari Bickley. You mentioned, are they going to continue to attack the paint? Right? No. They don't need to. Right. So far, their shots are falling. I think you make that adjustment once your threes aren't falling. But right now, they're knocking them down. Yeah, exactly. UCLA 0 for 4 from deep. But Princeton's already made 6. And that's how they are in the lead by 3. Mid-range is good, too or they're turning the bat, they're maybe forcing it too much into Lauren Betts, so they need to get a score here and then get a defensive stop on the other end. Another whistle early. They need to take advantage of the freebies, which are open layups and free throws. It's in 23, UCLA 10 in this second quarter. And I, they've made a little bit of an adjustment, putting Mari Bickley at the point. And you've got phenomenal shooters out there. It's forcing UCLA to play a little bit different defensively. Shooting over the top. Feed inside no good, but Betts there to clean it up. It's another superpower. She kind of erases your mistakes, right? Jaquez maybe missing the layup, but Betts there to still get some points on the board out of the possession. A little bit of air in front of St. Rose. St. Rose, Rose yeah. Bickley. So she was able to knock that, that down. Osborne, not too happy about it. She's probably going to tell her teammate, hey, I need you to switch when I call switch. Under a minute remaining in the first half. What a quarter by the Princeton Tigers. Hawkes. Ten seconds left on the shot clock. Thirteen left in the half. Princeton has been so hot. Made eight of their last eight. Final seconds of the first half. <laughs> Ellie Mitchell also for the Princeton Tigers. Double zero offensively. Not doing uh, anything yet in terms of buckets, but in terms of her rebounds, three. First half with a lot of contact. She just missed the layup and definitely wants that one back. It's like that one time you get on the 405 freeway. Bucket. A lot of space there. Kiki Rice tries to come in front. It's just enough. Osborne, beautiful feet. I love the pace that UCLA is coming out with offensively. They... Sometimes when you're down, you can get a bit frantic, and they're not. And I think you need to credit the ball being in the hands of Charisma Osborne, keeping everything settled, making the right decision. Long ball. Nothing. She had Sontag right in her grill. Nice little between the legs, step back, knocking down that three. That's big time. Princeton is shooting 47% from beyond the arc. UCLA won for six from deep to one from Charisma Osborne a few minutes ago. Rice, impossible angle. And just the athleticism. I think that shimmy is next level by Rice. And I don't want to take away from the fact that that was a very good pass by Dugalich, keeping everything poised. We talked about the poise of Osborne, picking up where they left off. Princeton shooting really well. UCLA doing a good job of scoring in the paint. In that play, they hang on to a narrow lead. 
Look at the speed. Chen coming down. She's going to go one on one. They know who their hot shooter is at Balliner. Sitting there in the bonus earlier, but as we talked about, they were heading them from, from deep, so why go? Shot clock is at six. Ball in the hands of Charisma Osborne. Iwala brings it down and puts it back. Mitchell no good. Iwala doing the work on the boards. Iwala with five rebounds. Hawkes. Hawkes and Rice just looking so beautiful together. Picking up a foul on Dugalic, sending her to the bench. Looks like they're calling an uh, illegal screen on the handoff by Iwala. I'm not so sure. It looked like she was pretty set, not leaning one way or the other, but the ref had a pretty good angle, so I'm not going to argue with her. Change of speed by Chen, drives in. Those are Caitlin on. Chen fans. You see their shirts? They've yeah. got Caitlin Chen's mug all over them. I think that's her friends and her family. Well, out of San Marino, right? Mm-hmm. Good rebound, offensive board, and gets the foul. Comes back in. Betts is back in as well. Glad she's okay. Exactly what we were talking about. UCLA 6 of 10. Princeton on a 7-0 run now in the last minute. And Belker responsible for a lot of those seven points. Beating Betts inside. She's back gonna, to make the bucket. Those are really tough shots that Lauren Betts is making. She's keeping her focus. She's getting a ton of contact on her lower body, but maintains that focus to knock it down. Well, it just speaks to her leadership and her just focus. And that's your role. You kind of get used to your body is used to playing those 40 minutes. And she... And second chances. They don't need that. Probably not very many second chances. <laughs> Sky Belker hasn't missed a shot all game. Into bets. There's the collapse of three. Uh, you know what? I agree with Lauren Best. They are too little. She, <laughs> <laughs> that's what that means. It means they're too little. And she earned it. She went up against three of them and Hit, took the contact and still able to finish. So I love it, Lauren Betts. I love the confidence. Rare air. Beautiful passing inside. That lit the Tigers on fire. Well, and Charisma Osborne doing a great job defensively, but the rest of the Bruins, that off-ball defense so important. Emphasizing just, just how dangerous. And Melana. You were telling people why. Taking advantage, she leads your team. Shot is short. I think every Tiger fan in the gym would have exploded had it been made. UCLA looking to take retake the lead. Chia, Morton, and for Charisma Osborne. Puts UCLA back. Yeah, this Two minutes remaining in the third Princeton. quarter. A one-point game. Looking at the rim, not going to happen. And Hawk has collision after collision down low. And refs just, they're letting it, letting them fall. And we saw it from the very first play of this game. Knocking down both of those, Princeton uh, continues to take advantage of their opportunities from the free throw line. More bodies on the floor. This time it's Charisma Osborne, slow to get up. Production, but you see a little bit of like, we talked about the teamwork, her teamwork superpower. Yeah. She just changes shots. She makes it so tough to score in the paint. Even if she doesn't block it, it, it changes the shot. With three seconds left, it's another three. And again, she does it with a defender right in her face. Sontag, it wasn't, she wasn't backed off with her, with no hand up. She was right in Caitlin Chen's grill and she's still knocking it down. Princeton Tigers have made eight from beyond the arc. Under a minute remaining in the third quarter, Kiki Rice sees some room, comes inside as Princeton collapses on it. Getting to the free throw line and really making the defense pay. 
And Kiki Rice making it count. Caitlin Chen doesn't look like she has any thought of passing it off there for a moment. It is five seconds remaining. Shots got to go. And with 10 seconds left, UCLA can have the last shot of this quarter. We're locked up. No good. And there she is. Hand it off. No good. It was Chen defending Osborne. And she's not the only one that hasn't missed a shot all game. You've got uh, Sky Belker for the Princeton Tigers that also is perfect from the field tonight. So it's just been a really fun game to watch. Seven lead changes. Coming down to one quarter. Third ranked UCLA Bruins. Five time regular season Ivy League champs, Princeton Tigers. Osborne, top of the key. First round draft pick, able to knock down that jumper, but on the other end, she is guarding Princeton's best player in Caitlin Chen. Rose poised to tie this up. And she does, we're back. It's her eighth tie of this game. Bodies flying and an offensive foul again. Duglich in. Long ball, no good. It's gonna separate, obviously, in this fourth quarter. And so far, nobody's been able to get the two together. Only one bucket each until that one. Talked about when we caught up with her early, earlier in the week, getting more out of bets off of maybe screens, not just always in the paint. And there it is for the Bruins. Back-to-back -back bucket. A four-point lead seems massive now in a way after this second half. We were talking at the break of how this game is oddly fast and slow. UCLA settling down, but then also taking advantage of when they have a fast break opportunity like Kiki Rice. London Jones back in. Tremendous defender. With seven seconds remaining. Big shot, long rebound. Prince Sim with another chance. UCLA needs to come up with that defensive rebound on that play. They did a good job. Of what? You can't give them second opportunities. They, they missed. They had a rare miss in this game. But now, Caitlin Chan able to come up with the offensive rebound and still getting points out of, out of the play. Can Princeton get another stop and bucket to tie it back up again? We'll see. Bet's already working with a double-double. 20 points, 10 rebounds for Betts. Osborne doing it. Betts, great recognition, kicks it out to Osborne, but doesn't just stand. She goes and sets a screen on Osborne's player to free her up for that little jumper. Five seconds remaining on the clock. Chen trying to put as much magic in spin. Second trip through the free throw line today. takes advantage 20 points for Chen Princeton gets another possession out of it strong pass inside beautifully executed it's freshman Ashley Chia one arm to, strong pass to freshman Mari Bickley so Princeton reloading having some great play out of some really good freshmen. You got Chia with the nice pass. Belker's been great tonight, and Bickley as well. So I'm really impressed with their freshman class. Princeton trailing by one. Five minutes remaining in the game. Here's the freshman, Bickley. Got another freshman on the wing in Chia. Here's Chen. There's three seconds remaining on the shot clock. Chen. 
Under five minutes remaining in the game. Third ranked UCLA. Hosting the Princeton Tigers. Osborne drives inside. Finishes not there. Iwala. With a put back. Nope. And there is a foul called against the Bruins on Christine Iwala. But she gets whistled for the foul, and I think that's where the UCLA bench has exception. Bickley does not capitalize, and Bickley will get another chance here to tie it up. Eighth tie of this contest. And a missed handoff. Osborne able to recover, but a little bobbling on the other side. Kiki Rice begging for it, driving inside. Finish not there. Tigers with a chance to take the lead or retake it, we should say. We've had eight lead changes. Over to Chen. Gets the spin. Even with Charisma Osborne on her, Chen gets out half a step ahead. She really was double teamed. Kiki Rice reading it also just didn't see have sight of the basketball or she probably could have picked that off. Dulich is three no good and there's a foul inside. The foul I think is on Parker Hill of Princeton. Take a look at that back door cut. You see both Charisma Osborne and Kiki Rice both cutting to the or both guarding Caitlin Chen cutting to the basket with just phenomenal passing and great job finishing. Another foul called. And Hawkins did a nice job in that first and second quarter of really staying aggressive. Makes the back half of that. Chen just pulls up. No good. Dooglich is mugged. As it pertained to Betts, just really staying fit on physical but the rest of the team doing a good job too well and parker hill is now fouled out of the game so that takes a big presence out six foot four osborne deep charisma osborne answering the fourth quarter bell Huge shot by Charisma Osborne, spotting up, had Sky Belker flying out at her defensively, just keeps her focus and knocks down that three from the corner, giving them a little bit of breathing room. Missed shot, great rebound by Hawkes. Kiki Rice on the run. So if they can string a couple of these together, they can start to put some space between them and the Princeton Tigers, and that'll give them some breathing room. Rice with 11 points, now 12. It's important for them to not let up defensively. They've done a good job of getting a hand in the face and limiting them to one possession on those defensive rebounds. They need to keep that up. Trying to feed inside, stepped out of bounds, or a foul, a foul. Belker now with 19 points. Freshman showing a ton of maturity. Sometimes coming in and playing in front of your hometown can have you playing a little bit tight, but not her. She's really stepped up. Yeah, 20 points for Belker. And that broke UCLA's scoring run. They had been on a 6-0 scoring run, the Bruins. Minute 30 remaining in the game. Osborne over to Betts. It just keeps evolving her game, adding that left hand on that left side, maybe would have turned that into an and one. That makes both. Well, I mean, Shaq struggled with free throws yeah, too. I, I think the taller you get, it's a, it's a lot different. You can't shoot your, it's kind of like playing Papa shot. You can't shoot yeah. your normal arc. Right. But, but she, she's got it down. Like yeah, you can tell it's exactly struggling. the same every time. Yeah, it's four for four from the stripe. That makes her even tougher. That's a big shot. Defensively, five rebounds for her, an assist. But those two shots by Mitchell are big. It gives the Tigers a chance with a minute remaining.
Critical possession for the Bruins here. That's outside of the paint to allow Osborne to get in there. Refs probably wouldn't have called it, but the fact that she was able to hang and then still get her shot off means that she gets to the free throw line. Three points away from tying Naira Fields for sixth in all-time scoring at UCLA. Maylana, what's it going to come down to in your opinion this last minute? I think limiting the Princeton Tigers to one offensive possession. And there's a turnover, an offensive foul. I think it's against Paige Morton. Osborne. Another offensive, and Duglich is pleading, please, please, hands in prayer position. There wasn't a lot of movement. First shot is up and good from Chen. Now Princeton needs to get it back and get another if they can. Ruby was so excited thinking that's what the whistle was, but no, it was Corey Close calling a timeout to set it up. Which is a huge difference maker. Yep. And there she's fouled. And she came out and now is to the free throw line with some big free throws. And that one would force Princeton to have a three. She makes both. All over to Chen. We don't want to take too much time here. 12 seconds remaining, long shot, in and out, no good. Crashing the boards offensively, well you see that in action, and earns them a trip to the free throw line. St. Rose. Do it, but I don't think with bets down there. Okay. This Princeton team is that joy of playing, and you see it on her face. Rice is fouled. Big. The lack of free throws in the first half allowed Princeton to kind of extend that lead, but them hitting their free throws in the second half. Princeton needs a three. I just love seeing a post player dominating like that, and, and I, I really love it for her as a person. You know, we talked about her playing at Stanford and kind of having that shared role with uh, Cameron Brink, and now she steps up and has her own team with UCLA, so it's cool. Six seconds remaining, just under it. Princeton recovering, but the clock is ticking for three. UCLA Bruins.